I grew up in a small village in China, uh, very isolated. And it was actually, you know, during this cultural revolution in China. So everything was a bit chaotic. Education was not uh, paying much attention to. It was really my father who felt that being a scientist is terrific. He was the one who kind of encouraged me to study. So I wanted to get into a graduate school. And then I was given a scholarship. And now I had this opportunity to study abroad. And it was not in the plan. James Chen is one of a dying breed of biochemists. He's combined traditional biochemistry with state-of-the-art approaches in molecular biology, genomics, and proteomics. And this is an incredibly powerful combination. So we set out to try to understand a sort of century-old question. And that is how DNA stimulates immune responses. And we use, you know, basically is a sort of classical biochemistry approach to identify what's called a DNA sensor, which turns out to be an enzyme that we call CGAS. And what this enzyme does is that it would bind to DNA directly. When it binds to DNA, it becomes activated. It produces this small molecule, second messenger. And then it trigger a cascade, a pathway, that turns on hundreds of genes that are very important for immune responses. So this enzyme has to strike you know, a very fine balance. You want it to be really sensitive to infections to get, to get rid of these, these pathogens. On the other hand, you don't want this enzyme to turn against your own DNA. So now drug companies can come in and make molecules that manipulate these pathways. And then they can turn these molecules into drugs that could potentially benefit a lot of patients with cancer, with autoimmune diseases. I cannot imagine doing anything else. I think it's a privilege to be given the opportunity to go into the lab and to discover something new. James is a modest, quiet guy, but his science speaks very loudly. <laughs>